Mr. Jordan from Ohio. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director, were you guessing or lying? The day after President Trump is shot, Secret Service spokesman Anthony Guglielmi said, quote, the assertion that a member of the former president's security team requested additional security resources that the U.S. Secret Service or the Department of Homeland Security rebuffed is absolutely false. The next day, Secretary Mayorkas said, that is an unequivocally false assertion. We had not received any request for additional security measures that were rebuffed. But five days later, the Washington Post said this, Top officials repeatedly rejected requests from Donald Trump's security detail for more personnel. The next day, the New York Times said this, Mr. Guglielmi acknowledged that the Secret Service had turned down some requests for additional federal security assets for Mr. Trump's detail. So which is it? Because both statements can't be true. Were you guessing or lying when you said you didn't turn down requests from President Trump's detail? Neither, sir, and I appreciate the question. Well, what's, what were you doing? Because those statements don't, don't jive. So what I can tell you is that for the event in Butler, there were no requests that were denied. As far as requests... Well, maybe they got tired of asking. Maybe you turned them down so darn much, they said, not worth asking. How many times did you turn them down ahead of that? I think that it is important to distinguish between what some people may view as a denial uh, of a, an asset or a request. Well, is Mr. Not... Guglielmi your spokesperson? He said he acknowledged the Secret Service had turned down some requests. I'm asking how many? A denial of a request does not equal a vulnerability. Well, tell me what it is. There are a number of ways that threats and risks can be mitigate, mitigated with a number of different assets, whether that be through personnel, whether that be through technology, or well, other well, resources. Well, tell the committee which it was. They asked for additional help in some form or another. You told them no. How many times did you tell them no, and what did you tell them no to? Again, I cannot speak to specific incidents, but I can tell you in general terms, uh, the Secret Service uh, is judicious with their resources based on... What does some requests mean? How many times? Some indicate request is plural. So more than once they asked for additional help and you turned them down. What they asked for and how many times did you turn them down? Pretty basic questions. So again, without having all of the details in front of me, sir, what I can tell you is that there are times... You didn't get briefed on how many times you turned down the Trump detail when they asked for additional help? I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't get briefed on that before you came to this hearing knowing you were going to get asked that question? What I can tell you is that in generic terms, when people, when, when details make a request, there are times that there are alternate ways to cover off on that threat or that risk. But that's not what he said. He said they were denied certain requests, some I, requests. I, this I, is your spokesperson, not me talking. This is the Secret Service talking. I and, it, and, and what a change from absolutely false, unequivocally false to, oh, by the way, there were some times where we didn't give them what they wanted. That's a huge change in five days. And the fact that you can't answer how many times you did that, that's pretty darn frustrating, not just for me, but for, for the country. I hear your frustration. Let me ask you this. Were any of those requests denied to President Trump's detail after you knew about the Iranian threat? What I can tell you, again, I don't know the specifics, is that there are times when we can fill a request. It doesn't necessarily have to be with a Secret Service uh, asset or resource. We can fill that request with locally available assets. You spoke and to anyone at the White House since July 13th? Yes, I have. Who'd you talk to? I have briefed the president and the vice president. Talk to the first lady? No, I have not. Talk to the White House staff, anyone in the White House communications? No, I have not. Have you talked to the counter sniper who took the shot that took out the bad guy? Yes, I have. And can you tell us about that conversation? I would not want to reveal conversations that I've had with my employees. But that's exactly the kind of information the American people want to know. American people who pay your salary. I understand. This is an ongoing investigation. And I Who's all doing the investigating at Secret Service? I know the Inspector General, but is there also an internal investigation in addition to the Inspector General? We are conducting a mission assurance investigation internally, yes. You know what it looks like, Director? It looks like you won't answer some pretty basic questions. It looks like you got a 9% raise and you cut corners when it came to protecting one of the most important individuals, most well-known individuals on the planet. A former president, likely the guy's going to be the next president. It looks like you guys were cutting corners. That's what it looks like to me. Is that true? I am here today because I want to answer questions. 
but I also want to be cautious. You might want to, but you haven't answered. I don't think you've answered one question from the chairman, the ranking member, or, or me. Well, we've got a lot of other people asking. We'll see if, you're, if your record improves. But right now, you haven't answered, I don't think, any questions. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. Chair, now recognize Ms. Norton from Washington, D.C. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The forgotten part of my fellow citizens. It is strong. It's my duty to report the true problems of our nation. We vigorously developed this resource to be of great benefit. Where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause. I will be eternally grateful for your support. 